let's talk about the V-Strom. Seems like a good time to do a, my opinion on the V-Strom, obviously my opinion. So, take it for what it's worth. A lot of people really love the bike, and I'm sure there's a lot of people who don't like this bike. I think it's, it's a pretty amazingly well-balanced motorcycle. It does so many things. Before this I had a KLR, which I guess is kind of similar, just the weakness with that was it just wasn't a highway bike. And as much as I don't like the highway, sometimes you are got to go on the highway. If you want to get someplace fast or that's the only easy way to get there. bike does back roads pretty well, does highway pretty well. I mean, it off-roads a little. I don't plan on taking it on anything more than dirt roads. Just because I don't want to beat the heck out of it. Very comfortable. And when I put the uh, old stock seat on, Instead of the tall seat, it was much better riding around town. For today, I put the, the taller seat on. Because I figured that would be better. <laughs> Kids were making faces at me on the side of the road. Um, with all, I wear so much clothes when it's cold out. I figured having a little more leg room would be better. I mean, it's so easy to swap the seat. Why not? Definitely has no trouble cruising on the highway all day. The wind protection straight out of the box. I didn't care for the screen setup, but I got a mad stat bracket. I don't know if you can see it. Relatively quick and found a good spot for the to adjust the windshield to and I'm very happy with that. Um, Lowered the foot pegs, put one inch lower and brackets on there, higher seat, didn't touch the handlebars at all. Bought some cheap eBay adjustable levers so I can swap them around. Um, put a fuse block on it and I have a couple of uh, SAE outlets I guess, one in the front for charging stuff on long trips and the GPS and everything into a switched fuse block something squirrel I don't know can't remember the name of it right now crazy squirrel rabbit squirrel I think it has squirrel in it some kind of animal in the name it's got a wacky name for the company but what was real nice about it is uh, is you could you didn't have to splice any wiring it uh, had a plug that you basically just plugged into the existing wiring and that uh That's how it knew whether the uh, key was in the on position or not. It was from that. And it works real well. I got my little radio, GPS, 11 or 12,000 miles on it. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I've done to it. Can change the fender, don't really care how how it looks in the back, I can't see it. Um guess I haven't done that much to it. I mean I, I bought it, it was a 2011 leftover and the new redesigned 2012s were out. So it had top case and side bags and everything included on it. So I got a good deal 
on it since it was a leftover and the new model had just come out. So I was happy with the price, right around 8000 maybe a little bit more than 8000 with all the bags and everything. Um, no, and I put crash bars on it. I think I talked about that already. After I crashed for the first time, like a genius. Of course, I waited till after I crashed. Um, other than that, I don't think I really did anything. Other than that, I guess that's a couple things, but... No problems with it so far. Needs new tires. Definitely less off-road capable than the KLR, but... More, certainly more street capable. I mean, it's perfectly fast. I mean, it's not like you're gonna, in a straightaway, beat a sports bike, but I don't have any trouble keeping up with them on back road rides. You can stay on your side of the road, please. Back road rides. When I go out with a group of sports bikes, I can easily keep up with them. Corners, very nice. What else can I say about it? Obviously, since it's kind of a dual sport bike, the suspension is great for bumpy roads. Um, which seem to be more and more of all the time. But it's nice having a good amount of suspension travel when the roads get really bad and hot hold out and all that. Engine is real nice. I mean, I like V-twins. I, I, I like engines that I don't have to rev out crazy high. That you can just use the V-twin torque, whatever you want to call it. Not have to shift all the time and constantly keep it up in the high rev range. Nice, very nice usable engine power. I think it's only 60-ish, 65 horsepower, something like that, I don't know. But that's more than enough for me. 